Again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Springfield, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have some beautiful colors left over and a 16-inch round canvas that happens to have been hanging around prime for a while. There's some black and white enamels in the bottom of those. And I'm thinking I would like a little bit of magenta if I can find it in all of the colors. Right there it is. And some turquoise. And I might put a little more white in something. The white isn't as neat as metallic. So I figured the best way to do this is to just start. Take as much of that color out of there as I can get before it gets any later or any gloppier. There's mostly, there's red opal in there that's a folk art treasures. There's deco art, Americana, I believe it is, 24 karat gold. And there's some of that with some orange added to it. I kind of like to um, use a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. Available on my Amazon link below show more underneath the link tree, underneath the video. So I'll try and get ready for that by putting it in with something else. And I'm just going to keep spinning. I'm going to let some of that paint go right over the side. So I leave my shovel up to the edge and then down over. I'm going to switch sides and grab some paint from this other container. Just seem to have a whole lot of. I could probably tilt this if I was of a mind to, but I'm not there yet. I'm planning on ribbon dribbling some things. Which is always a good camouflage when you're not sure the mark you made is what some something that made you happy. Hard to go wrong with beautiful colors, I always say. Gotta let the paint relax out of your shovel. Make a few new patterns, why not? Just use the shovel to pull the paint down. I could probably throw some chain in here. I think I'm just going to use my finger to drag that over to the edge. I'm not feeling too bad about this. I might have enough paint to le left to do an 8x10. Who knows? I forgot that blue was in there, but that's okay because I'm loving it. Just going to grab a little bit more of that. Maybe a few dots here and there. Maybe pull the shovel a few times. Hope it's not too much. Where's my skewer? I always have a skewer handy. I think I'm going to be okay with that.
I wasn't sure for a second. So if I've got heavy paint, I use GAC 800 by Golden and I don't have a problem because it, the GAC 800 by Golden is meant to keep paint from cracking that's heavy, which is perfect in this case. I'm going to grab a little bit more. Sat just a little bit longer than I needed it to in its container. But there's some cool stuff going on, like I said. So I'm okay with that. It's going to be different. It reminds me of one of those scarves, one of those French scarves. I don't know why. The ones with the prints on them, usually you think of people who are doing equestrian stuff. But I'm not, that, not sure that makes any real sense. So I've got a little bit more blue here. And that is getting pretty darn close. To being all that I need. She said optimistically. People who know me know that I cannot stop. I kind of want to add a few things. <laughs> you know I do. Whoop, I guess I did. So that's kind of cool. I'm okay with all that. That's really different. <laughs> and I'm okay with it. I keep trying to get more paint out of my container, so. I'm trying to let it be okay if I, if I drag a few things across each other. to give some dimension to what I've got. No, I like it. I'm going to scrape out my containers and uh, once I see what I've got, I'll decide whether I want to do anything else with it or not. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I might actually steal a little more paint. Anywhere where I have a nice heavy dot, I can just stick my skewer in the blunt end, always, please. And I'm not going to complain too much about that. I don't have a lot of paint dripping down over my edges. I do like the dots. There will evidently be more dots. <laughs> A lot more dots, I've just decided. So I love you guys, and there's 86,700 and change going on 87,000 subscribers. Thank you for coming. Thank you for staying. Hope you come again. Look for created playlists under all playlists on my channel, and you'll find over 1,300 videos organized by the genre and by the hundred. Hope to see you there. You can also find tomorrow's video on the community board on my YouTube channel, and if you visit Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook, you'll find even more of tomorrow's videos. Might be from Phoenix Rising, Priscilla Batzel Art, which is a channel I attempted to start when things started going a little bit sideways. At Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Priscilla Batzel YouTube channel. But uh, we're all good right now, so. I want to say thank you guys for sharing my videos. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the wonderful comments. Thank you for supporting me in making videos since 2018 by donating money through PayPal and Patreon. If you're looking for a link to continue helping in that, in that tradition, the PayPal and Patreon links are on my YouTube channel header as far as icons go and also on 
the link tree below show more under the video where you will also find the paint pouring recipe and the way I mix my paint. And the link tree contains Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, and my website and all the Facebook pages including Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more which will take you to a place where you can see what I've been posting there since on Fine Art America and Pixels.com since about 2013. Over 1400 items. Missing about 3000 though. <laughs> Anyway, I can't keep up, but what I have edited from the YouTube artwork so far, so good, is in the albums on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, totes, excuse me, fans and collectors. I am strangely enamored of this, and I'm not sure why I like it so much, but I just do. And um, it's uh, otherworldly, like lots of my stuff, otherworldly, odd. Odd is good. I like odd. So thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate that. I love you dearly. I used to have a crib sheet around here somewhere, but it seems to have gone away. And uh, there it is. I said thank you for the thumbs up. Check my website on the, uh, the Linktree link. And uh, you can see stuff I've been doing for a long, long, long time. And uh, it's an award-winning collection of fine art that won in 2017 for Best Collection. Uh, my email address is underneath the video, so if you need to contact me and you're interested in purchasing an artwork, please use EASPB, the word gallery, at gmail.com to, uh, to secure a lesson space. Also, now that we're back to uh, socializing with one another, and uh, check the end screens on the video. Every video has a, an exhibition video, and on that video there are the prizes for the monthly drawing. And by donating through PayPal or Patreon, you become included in that drawing. I told you guys I love you already, and I never get tired of telling you, and I'm going to go now. In spite of that, I used up my leftover paint, and I'm pretty happy you joined me. I know it's late in the day, so it's a little dark, but um, you guys take care of each other and take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, I'll see you when on. Bye for now. Priscilla out.